So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at a few different pens that are called customizable multi-pens. So basically, right here, you have a standard multi-pen. This is a uh, Papermate Inkjoy multi-pen, and it has four colors, making it a multi-pen. Uh, but the four colors it comes with are the four colors this pen is sold in. It comes in a standard uh, green, red, blue, black. You cannot change the colors. You can't replace them. It's just like the standard colors. And a customizable, customizable roller pen, the colors or the ink tend to be modular. So basically you pull it out and you could buy a refill for it. And that refill could be any color that the company chooses to sell in this uh, weird little size. Uh, in this case, it's uh, from Pilot. It uses a standard Pilot multi-pen refill, the LHK, maybe HF, I'll link to it below. Uh, has this little tab here. And what that means is it allows it to work in this pen. So now, uh, Pilot doesn't have to worry about having, or you know, ink, uh, Paper Man, whoever it is, doesn't have to worry about having the four standard colors that has to just have huge mass appeal. Uh, you can come up with a blue or a green or an orange or a pink or something that's gonna appeal to just people that want that color. And then you can outfit your pens in the colors that you see fit. Uh, it also means that the companies can sell a bunch of different bodies. I'll run through some of my favorite bodies and then uh, talk a little bit more about them. So one example here, this is the High Tech C Kalido. That's High Tech C Kalido is a line of customizable multi-pens. The N is the sub-variant. That's a sort of curvy, futuristic looking version. And the three is because this one holds one, two, three. I only have two in there, but three colors. Uh, the N is also sold in a four and a five version. I don't really like those because as you put more and more refills in there or more and more colors in there, these uh, bodies tend to get really wide and uh, that width I find to be bothersome. The uh, refills, these little refills tend to go for about a dollar each, maybe a dollar twenty. So uh, it's pretty easy to go ahead and buy either a lot of them or buy big packs of them and just always have your favorite pens outfitted. Uh, I tend to buy them in a 0.5 millimeter version. They're also usually sold in a 0.4. I think some are sold in a 0.3. So uh, this is my favorite in a three size. It's called the High Tech C Kalido N3. Uh, let's talk about this one. This is another one. This is the High Tech C Kalido, uh, but this is called the 500. This is a four pen, four size pen. And the, uh, the 500 is just this sort of the body style. I think that's the model number there and the 500 is what it's, what it's generally called. Uh, this is a sort of an upgraded version. This the 500 and the 1000 are slightly nicer than the ends. You could see instead of being an all plastic, like the end line, we move over to a metal clip, have a metal band here. This is a grip area, which is pretty nice. The pen still doesn't come apart, but you do have that little grip. And then the uh, mechanism here is just a little bit fancier and then obviously the metal clip so same design though this thing pops off and same refills it is still a high-tech Kalido so they are fundamentally the same and they all have the same sort of problem with these rails being a little bit fiddly so you have to get used to that but once it's in it's good and then I have a weird orange a red and these uh, I distribute these to get ready for the video usually I uh have them fully set up. And then to, re to do the return any of the high tech C's, you just have to push it down and you can't push it up. There's no button. These pens are extremely simplistic. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, push another one down and it'll return. This is my favorite customizable multi-pen. This is the original Pilot high tech C Kalido. It's only two color, so it's very simple. For a while, it was sold in a three color, but they stopped selling it. I haven't been able to find any of them, uh, but uh, it was sold in a three color and sort of a very nice smoke black, but this is the high tech seat Kalido, sort of the original two color. I think it's just a super clean pen. I really love the design of the body. Uh, and there's nothing extra here. No 
metal bands, no metal clips. The grip section is just a couple lines pressed into it. This is very cool, sort of faceted on the inside, so it's smooth on the outside. For some reason, this pen comes apart. Not really sure why this one comes apart, but it does. And again, this is only <clears throat> two inks. So, very simple. You can see what happens as you push it in. It locks in place, and when you push this one down, it pushes up the other one. So that's great. It also means it won't work with just one. You always need one to pop out the other. This one has an even simpler mechanism, whereas this little cop, uh, top piece comes off, which is very cool and very clean. It will wear out over time, but this body only costs like maybe, uh, uh, maybe $2. So it's not really a big concern. Last up, we have kind of a newer variety and one that's definitely newer to me. This is called the Zebra Sarasa Select. I'm a big fan of the Sarasa ink. So you're looking for a quick drying ink that writes really well. You have Sarasa. And the Select is sort of the newer body design. This is a three color. So basically you have these three here, but and then this one is larger for whatever reason. I think just to, uh, I don't know why. Just because it looks cool. There's really no reason to have it be uh, differentiated except to keep them seeming apart from each other, like to be able to tell one from apart from each other. Uh, but the interesting thing to know about the Zebra Sarasa, even though it's fundamentally the same thing, the Kalido uses uh, ink refill with a, the tab is integrated into the ink. So blue refill, <clears throat> sorry, has a blue tab. With the Zebra Sarasa Select, the tabs are built into the pen. This piece at the top doesn't come off or anything like that. What happens uh, rather is the pen comes apart and the refills are uh, more standard looking refills. So they use the tab <clears throat> that's built into the pen. It makes the refill a little bit simpler and a little cheaper, but uh, then when you're pressing this button, you don't really know what color you're pressing, which is somewhat annoying. You'll know from this window here, but it's less obvious. <clears throat> this pen uses the Zebra Sarasa, it's called the uh, NJK refill, and these are available in all sorts of different colors, and they're very cheap. The pens, uh, they look like they would have some banding here, but that's just some leftover wax from when they ship. Ideally, they would have a little band there with the color. And this one does, but the NJK line does not. You will be able to see it again here and on the window. And these just sort of press fit into the body. You can't really see it there but just wiggle around, it'll find the hole in there, it'll lock in place. Because these aren't specialized refills, they will take uh, different lines. And so instead of these two, which are the NJK, this one is a planar Zebra Sarasa, maybe it's not a Sarasa, this is the Zebra EK07. And I just wanted to try putting in a 0.7 millimeter ink in there. Even though this isn't specifically designed for this Rasta Select, uh, it will work. So that's something to keep in mind. You have a little bit more versatility when you're going with the Zebra instead of the Sarasa. And this one does have that little, you can just make it out there, that little blue band that some companies do on their smaller refills so you can tell, or on their multi-pen refills, so you can tell what color you're using if it's not indicated by the pen. These pens tend to be a little bit fiddly, so uh, you have to buy them with the uh, idea in mind. That is something to play with and customize and get used to over time. Uh, so I just wanna do a quick writing sample in case you haven't seen these guys in action. So I will start off with the 
Uh, this is the zebra sarasa select that's in the green this is a lighter writing pen it's a it's a small ink small nib just not putting down a lot And this is the other zebra. Sorry. Picked the wrong one. This is it. So here we have the uh, NJKs in a 0.5. And then we have the Strasse Select, the other ink. I forget what it's called. I'll put it in the notes in the 0.7 millimeter. Moving over to the high-tech Kalito. And this one is 0.5 millimeter. I really like how these Kalitos write specifically in the, uh, or I really like how the high-tech writes, specifically in the Cleto refill. Just a great, great option. And now we'll try it in that orange, then we'll wrap it up. So really nice, 0.5 millimeter, real sharp, fun to write with. I really like the high-tech Kalito C. It's definitely my pick. If you like the Zebra Sarasa line, then this 0.5 and 0.7 millimeter are great. But my strong recommendation is you pick up the original high-tech Kalito C. Uh, the body will cost you about $2. Each of the refills will cost you maybe like a buck 25. So uh, for $5 or so, you have uh, just the what I would consider the best multi-pen sold today. Thanks for watching.